San Diego Comic Con, 50th anniversary of the convention, 80th anniversary of Batman. We have Thomas Elliott himself, so we're going to whisper through this interview. <laughs> Maury Sterling, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks, man. This is a very heavy story where Batman's childhood friend is having a little too much fun with Bruce Wayne. You could say that. Yeah, it starts off seemingly innocent and uh, it changes. And if you haven't read the comic, that's your fault. So if you get a little comic spoiler at this point, too late. Yeah, we can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> it's been over a decade. You should have read it's it. It's been over a decade. I feel you should have read it by now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this adaptation, obviously you had to read the, the graphic novel beforehand. And when they give you the script, and there's slight variations between the script and, and the film, uh, is there a part of you, like with me, if I read the book, I have trouble watching the movie, or if I watch the movie, I have trouble reading the book. When you go between the two as an actor, uh, how do you switch that off and go, no, this is the character that they want me to portray? Um, you want to keep your job, <laughs> so that's probably the first part. Uh, I think I was so excited to get to be a part of it at all, that wasn't so much of uh, um, a battle for me. I hadn't spent enough time on the graphic novel to be super loyal in terms of any kind of changes they made in their in their version. Um, so I'm really there just to kind of serve their, their deal and, and do. And I was nervous enough and I think excited enough to be a part of it that I was like whatever you want me to do I will do it and now is this your first foray into the DC animated universe it's my second I was in the uh, the killing joke I played the bad guy in that one Paris Franz so uh, yeah so it's my second but this one uh, to get to do this voice feels far more a lot more responsibility and a lot more than 10 minutes and a lot more than 10 minutes so yeah uh, playing the big baddie in a, in a franchise obviously the villain always has more fun and if there's no good villain, the hero's kind of worthless. What's it like to being an antagonist to Batman? And on top of that, having to deal with the Riddler, who kind of wants to outsmart you and the big bad bat. Um, it was fun. Uh, it was fun to get to play a guy who was who's moving the chess pieces in a way uh, and it feels like he's ahead of the game. Uh, ultimately, probably not, but uh, but there's a feeling that Hush really knows what he's doing and is up to the task of like, no, I'll take you on. Maury, congratulations on being the big baddie this time. Batman Hush. Shh. Yes, I know we had to play that little joke. Uh, out. July 20th on digital, Blu-ray, DVD combo pack, August 6th. Thank you so much. We'll see you at the premiere in about an hour. Excited. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thank Glad you. to be here. Yeah. Thanks, man. Cool.